Hi, and welcome to my OCR AA Level Biology Revision Session with me, Christine. So today's lesson, I want to look at using a respirometer, which is part of your Topic 5 respiration module. Now, if you haven't already done so, please do check out my video on respiratory substrate. But what I want to focus on here is what's known as your respiratory quotient. So your RQ value is how much carbon dioxide is produced divided by how much oxygen is consumed. And we can use these calculations to figure out which respiratory substrate is being utilized by the organism. So as you can see on the left hand side of my diagram, I have different examples, peas, woodlice, sunflower seeds, and some numbers there which tell you how much oxygen was consumed and how much carbon dioxide was produced. But how did we get these numbers? What can we use that would allow us to be able to calculate the RQ? Well, this is where the respirometer comes in. Using a respirometer will allow you to gain that information. So how does a respirometer work? Well, a respirometer works by us understanding that for respiration to occur, oxygen is going to be consumed. What's going to be produced? carbon dioxide. So the respirometer utilizes the fact that if we are going to have an organism that can respire aerobically, what it will then do is remove the oxygen from the air which is in the vessel here. Now when they produce the carbon dioxide because of gas exchange and that carbon dioxide gets absorbed and held by this potassium hydroxide solution or soda lime, what's going to happen is that's going to cause the coloured liquid to move along a calibrated scale. And we can measure how far that has moved, the distance that it's moved, along with the diameter of the capillary tube, in this case it's one centimetre cubed, to figure out the volume of gas that has been consumed and we can do that to figure out the gas that has been produced with carbon dioxide. So if we're trying to work our oxygen consumption we would be looking at the movement of the liquid to the left. Now we would always want to in any investigation repeat this and so to be able to repeat this what you would do is you would use your throwaway tap to push in more air which would therefore push your coloured liquid back to its original position for you to start the process again. So there's some key bits of information that are about the application skills of how to do practical situations if they're going to give you a question like this. Now, why would we use gauze? Well, gauze is there because if we're using organisms which are living organisms, for example, my little wood lice in the diagram, if they were to touch the soda lime or potassium hydroxide solution, that would harm them. And we don't want to do that. We want to do these investigations in the most ethical, morally correct way that we can. So that's important, a consideration that we have to take in. Um, to consideration. So if we're not using what's known as a simple respirometer, what we could do is we could use what's known as a manometer. Now a manometer works in the same way as a simple respirometer. However, this time we're going to have two tubes and in this time we've got a calibrated uh, tube with a calibrated scale and we're also looking at the fact that we would use another organism or in this case glass beads that would maintain the value the volume value the same on either side so we would again have that oxygen being consumed we would have the carbon dioxide going into the soda lime now our glass beads are not respiring so because they're not respiring what does that mean? That means that the liquid will move in one direction. Because the liquid is going to move in one direction, it will move towards the respiring organism. We can use that to calculate the respiration rate. So we use the glass beads as a control for comparison to make sure that it's only moving in one direction because of the respiration that's occurring 
within those respiring organisms. And we can change the respiring organisms. We could use peas, we could use our sunflower seeds, we could use wood lice. But what they want you to understand is that whichever one you're using, the simple respirometer or the manometer, you always want to ensure that what is the way in doing repeats it's by opening your three-way tap and pushing either your coloured liquid, the dot, back to its original part of your calibrated scale or pushing the liquid back up the calibration tube and they will be expecting you to understand in which direction. So if I'm obviously trying to do repeats, I need it to go back in the direction that it started because I don't want any of this coloured liquid to get into my organisms because it could cause harm. So again, you need to consider how you are doing this when you're thinking about practical skills. Because they always want you to think about improvements that can occur. So what things do we actually need to consider when we're doing an investigation? Well, the key thing is, is what variables might you need to consider and how are you going to control them? Now, your investigation will be specifically about yeast. And if you think about the different carbohydrate solutions that yeast could utilize. So, for example, they may give you a graph of results where they are looking at maltose, sucrose, lactose, glucose, fructose, and how the fungi, the brewer's yeast, are able to utilize them. So it could be that they are giving you different carbohydrate solutions as your independent variable. Well, if that's the case, what do we need to consider and control? Well, one of the key things would be temperature. We need to control the temperature. We need to ensure that we use a water bath to control the temperature. Because our carbohydrate solution may be different, depending on the saccharide that's in the solution, we need to control the volume of the solution that we use. We need to control the concentration of the solution that we use. We need to consider the mass of the organism because obviously if there's more of the yeast, they would respire more, so we'd need to control that. What they might do is they might try and throw you off by giving you different organisms. So it should be about yeast, but if it's not, they are therefore looking for you to understand if it is a photosynthesizing organism, i.e. a plant. So we're looking at a pea that is green, has chlorophyll molecule. It will be using light for photosynthesis. Therefore, the rate of respiration might be being counteracted by the rate of photosynthesis. And the other thing to consider is a pH buffer. So a pH buffer is obviously necessary because we're talking about enzymes, we're talking about proteins that could be denatured if the pH is not controlled. So you need to always consider your variables whenever you are doing investigation. And the other thing they can also do is look at, for example, if they tell you that the diameter of a capillary tube is 0 0.1 millimeters, they tell you that the colored liquid moved a distance of three millimeters, and they then give you the volume equation of a cylinder and then want you to work out the rate of uptake of that oxygen. So it's important you know how to calculate that. So if I do my calculations, then I use the equation pi r squared times the length, which is the distance moved. So we know our diameter was 0 0.1 millimeters, so our radius would be 0 0.05. So pi times 0 0.05 squared times three, and divide that by the time. So they're telling us the time is two hours, and we would want to give that as a number, but we need to be very careful, because in the exam questions, they tend to say, give the number to two significant figures or to three significant figures. So be very aware of what they're asking in the question. So in this case, I've gone to three significant figures, 1.18 times 10 to the minus three. I've also given it in standard form and then my units would be millimeters squared per hour. So do make sure that when you are working out the rate of your auction uptake that you know how to do these calculations. 
So I hope you've liked this video and if you have then please do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also if you haven't already done so please do check out my revision platform www.aiqchat.com